What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is DJ Ricardo and we are back with episode 5 of the DJ Ricardo podcast, shout out DJ Ricardo We did it again, we did it again, we keeping it going <clears throat> Like I said in the last episode, we're going to do at least one episode a week, you know, sometimes two Sometimes some reaction videos, I'm still working on them interviews, you know, we're going to get those interviews going but um, you already know, first things first, the Ricardo Effect, the album, you already know, the Ricardo Effect, the album, eight tracks, all written and produced by me, yours truly, it's on all streaming platforms, Amazon Music, Apple Music, Spotify, it's on TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, you can do the dances to it. Once again, it's like the day of the life of DJ Ricardo. It's called the Ricardo Effect by Ricardo Lancelo. If that makes any sense to you. And uh, even though I just dropped my album <coughs> a month ago, four weeks ago, I just dropped a single two or three days ago. That's right, it's called uh, Barstow. You know what I'm saying? Barstow. That's the name of the single. It's, uh, you know, upbeat. 808 bumping on it original beat you know produced by me yours truly i make all my beats it's dope to rap and uh produce on your own beats and uh yeah check it out it's on all streaming platforms as well it's on every single streaming platform i just mentioned uh instagram tiktok snapchat y'all um go check it out and uh the next thing we gonna talk about, cause I know I'm late. I heard about this on Monday. The Montgomery Brawl. Holy shit! <coughs> <coughs> Holy shit! The Montgomery Brawl. That was uh in Alabama, uh, Alabama Montgomery, and we all know the story. Uh, they was trying to park. They couldn't park. Old boy tossed his hat in the air and got and got down with the dude. And then uh, they started jumping and shit, you know? I'm going to say shout out to the little dude. He was 16 years old, I found out afterwards, who swam over there. And shout out to the commentator, the lady who was saying, he's swimming his ass over there. She sound like she makes some bomb ass macaroni and cheese. I don't know why. It sounds like that, but yeah, it sounds like that lady who was like, he's swimming his ass out there. It sounds like she makes some bomb ass macaroni and cheese. For real, on the dead homies, no kizzy. You know what I'm saying? And uh, shout out to my nigga G Mac Cash. You know, G Mac Cash, he's a Detroit rapper. He be making hella songs. They kind of like parody songs, but they be real as fuck because it ain't a parody if it's really going on, but I guess it's a parody of what's really going on. And, um,. It's called Montgomery Brawl. You know what I'm saying? It's funny as hell. Y'all should check it out. It's on all streaming platforms. Shout out G Back Cash. Y'all go show some love and uh, give him some spins on that Montgomery Brawl. And uh, <clears throat> drop in tomorrow. Keeping the topic on music. Drop in tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? We got that. Uh, for all the dogs, that's right, Drake. Drake got his eighth studio album coming out tomorrow. For all the dogs, you know what I'm saying? I um seen the track list. It's pretty, it's pretty stacked, you know what I'm saying? I'm uh definitely tune into it tonight when it come out, probably, probably around nine tonight because well, we on the West Coast. Shout out Vegas. You know what I'm saying? But shout out Drake, man. Yeah, I can't wait to hear this album. Can't wait to uh, play some of these songs in the club and get some reactions. You know what I'm saying? See how people is uh, <clears throat> vibing with the music. But yeah, that comes out tomorrow, August 11th. And um, shout out to that pretty motherfucker, Pause ASAP Rocky. Yeah, he dropping his album next Friday. You know what I'm saying? It's on uh, August 18th. It's called Don't Be Dumb. You know what I'm saying? That's the name of the album. Riot, as I discussed on the last episode, Riot is the lead single off the album. You know what I'm saying? Rowdy Piping is like quotations for Riot. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to remind y'all on next week's podcast to make sure y'all check out 
that Drake album and that ASAP Rocky album. You know what I'm saying? Once again, Drake album for all the dogs that come out tomorrow. <clears throat> y'all make sure y'all tune in for that. It should be something dope knowing Drake, you know what I'm saying? I can't wait to hear the production on it. Me personally, as a producer, I like the production more in the lyrics sometimes, most of the time. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, shout out to Drake, man. Drake got the bars. And um, once again, ASAP Rocky, don't be dumb. Next Friday, y'all be there. And I can't believe I'm, gonna, I'm about to talk about this. Next topic, you know what I'm saying? But these, these niggas is getting money, but that's like selling your soul. You know what I'm saying? The island weirdos. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, the island weirdos. The island boys, the island weirdos. These niggas just admitted that they made two million dollars for kissing, for making out with each other on OnlyFans. That's some of the nastiest, degrading, feminine, unmasculine type of thing you could do. For some bread, you know what I'm saying? Two million dollars is life-changing money. But you just sold your soul, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? Is it worth it? You know what I'm saying? I already feel right talking about that. Y'all let me know in the comments how y'all feel about the Island Boys making out and making two billion dollars on the web video. Would y'all do it? Would you make out with your brother? Girls, it don't count because y'all get away with everything. But fellas, let me know in the comments, man. Would you make out with your brother for the uh, <clears throat> two million dollars? <throat> um, definitely not me. Next up, last but not least, you already know we got the realest bars from a 2000 song. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Three Six Mafia. Shout out uh, Country Black. DJ Paul and Juicy J, you know what I'm saying? They on that track, stay fly. Stay high, really, I gotta stay high till I die, but stay fly was how they um, put it out in print, you know what I'm saying? And um, the realest bar comes from my nigga DJ Paul. Once again, DJ Paul, man, this is his second time on this uh, podcast. We only on episode five, he didn't got the realest bar. I feel like cause he just keep it so real, when he speak, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> the realest bar goes. These niggas is spies. We live them lies and keep our eyes tied. You know what I'm saying? So when he say these niggas is spies, you know what I'm saying? This niggas, you know, they you they see you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you you doing this, you doing that, you got this, you got that. So let me find out <clears throat> how you getting it. You know what I'm saying? That's what he mean by these niggas is spies. We live them lives. That means the life we live in. Then turned you into a spy. The life, the life that he's living, then turn another boy probably into a spy. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a little <clears throat> that's a little real for me. You know what I'm saying? I definitely understand where he's coming from. And then he say we keep them eyes tight because we keep smoking weed because we don't give a fuck about no spies. We gonna keep doing our thing and letting them hang. Shout out DJ Ricardo. This number five. That's right. <clears throat> Damn, the blunt went out with a lighter. Episode 5, we're wrapping things up. Yeah, let me do it without the blunt so I can get a little tag for my TikTok anyway. They don't like it when you smoke on TikTok. But yeah, shout out DJ Ricardo. This episode 5. Y'all go check out Barstow, my new single. Go check out the album, The Ricardo Effect. And we're going to end it off just like that. Assalamu alaikum.